Hi, Sean from Macabre GB. Welcome back to our PE at home lessons. So today we're going to be looking at a year five and a year six uh, introduction to the latest stages of football development. So again, it's something that you can do with anyone um, in that year group and it's using only equipment that you would find in your home. So I'll show you my setup in a second. But first of all, the equipment that I'm using is I have a tennis ball, I have a football and I have three bits of stationary equipment. So a glue stick, a tipex and a highlighter. So what I'm going to be doing is working on a little bit of passing accuracy over distance. First variation I'm going to show is for the one that you can start with as your little warm up. So I'm going to say a target and I'm going to try and pass the ball with the inside of my foot using the instep to try to hit that target and to knock it over. I'm going to do that once with my right foot, once with my left foot so I can get a good strength in both feet. Tip X. Once I've successfully hit all of the targets, my left foot and my right foot, I'll then look to develop it and make this activity harder by changing the board I'm using to the tennis ball. Tip X. So now we've got it on passing with our left foot and our right foot over a shorter distance, looking at the accuracy and power that we should use. You can then take difficulty up a level by using it over a longer distance. So targets be over a longer distance and you're passing as well. So the game will stay the same, still you've got the targets at the end and you're passing from one length of the hallway to the other. Because you've now changed the distance and you've made it a little bit more difficult, I would say to go back to using the football first and then you can use the tennis ball again after. Aim the game's going to be the same, pass it, try to not go on targets. So as you just saw it done with the football, you then move on to the tennis ball after. A way to make this more competitive, or if you have more than one person participating, you can then change it into a bowling sort of game. So if you have more targets, or if you only have those targets, you can line them up. Each person will get a go. Let's say you can give them five goes each. The person who knocks the most down out of all their turns ended together will be the winner. <laughs> 